So that's the uh, the end of the series uh, uh, with the vintage lenses, and um, everything is tested. Uh, most of it, uh, or some of it, also on the on the high resolution camera, and uh, and this is my conclusion to all this. Uh, and I'm going to start with the uh, 28 uh, millimeter uh, E series. Uh, I like the stills. I like the the video. I like to work with it. Uh, though it's small, the focus uh, uh, ring doesn't go very far, but it's smooth and it's nice. And I just yeah, it's like it's nice to work with. Um, it's contrasty, uh, uh, contrasty enough anyway. Uh, enough uh, sharpness, enough. Well, yeah, I like the look of it. And, uh, I'm going to keep it. So yeah, some thumbs th up for that one. Uh, the 35mm uh, PC is, well, it's yes and no, both for video and for stills. Um, I like that effect, uh, especially when you do panos. I like to use it for that, the, the shift, um, or sorry, the perspective uh, control uh, is very nice. Uh, also, the um, it's nice for architecture, which I don't do much, but if I, I get got back into that, I, I might like it. Um, as far as I can see, it's it's well, it's not a bad lens, really. Um, so I could, what I'm going to do, uh, I'm probably going to do some some panels, uh, but a combination between panel and focus stacking, to see if I can get panels where everything is um, is is tech sharp. If that's possible, I'm going to keep it. If not, then it's got to go. But for now, I'm keeping it. The Helios. Um, for video, I don't like it. The focus is—it's simply simply too far to go. It's uh, it's impractical, uh, impractical for for me. I think it is uh, the way I shoot. So I don't like it for video. Uh, in terms of stills, uh, if you shoot at uh, f2, it really sucks. Uh, it's so uh, hazy and nothing. It's sharp and it's just a bad lens. But but if you step stop down to 2.8 and then up, uh, it's sharp. It's not. It's it's good. It's a sharp. Uh, Contrasty, nice lens, but and there is a big but. There's a big but. No, that's not. No, that's a yes. Yeah, you find out. Um, yeah. But I think that bokeh is very, very special, very, very swirly, and the bokeh that it's famous for. But from me, it doesn't add to the picture. It attracts, it detracts. It takes well. It's taking your focus away from the subject. It's like you see the mood uh, in the shot, uh, in video as well as as uh, stills. Instead of seeing the subject itself, so in my opinion, it, it it kind of disturbs the image. So I'm not too sure about it. I'm going to I'm going to um, I'm going to keep it for now. I'm going to try to use it a bit and see if I can uh, that special um, atmosphere you can make with a lens like that. I'm going to try to see if I can use that in my work or in my any of my videos. But 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 if it gets too disturbing for me, too distracting, then I'm just going to to uh, to pass that on as well to to someone who who will probably love it because I know a lot of people love that lens. So yeah. Uh, same goes with the 50mm uh, 1.8 E-series, uh, a lot of people love it, um, I would really like to love it, uh, but I think for video it's it's okay, it's fine, but it doesn't do anything that I can't do with other lenses. Uh, I've got, I'm, I'm covered in that focal length, uh, both on the uh, Z6 uh, uh, and on the D850, so mm, yeah, so video wise, yeah. Um, for stills, I, th I think it's not good enough. Uh, it's all right on this Z6, I think, but uh, when you get to the higher resolution images, it's not good enough. Um, and since since it's not um, autofocus, I'm probably not going to use it for, for, for weddings uh, either. Though the low light capabilities at 1.8 is, is is fine, but nowadays, uh, but no. So that's got to go. And it's the same with the 85mm. Uh, I think in still images, it's not 
just up there, just not good enough. I know Matt Granger just did a video and I think his images looked okay, but you could definitely see the, the, the difference um, uh, between that lens and, and the other ones that, that he tested as well. And I have do have the 105, uh, 1.4 is behind me here, so I'm probably going to be using that for um, for my uh, for my still photography and uh, and other lenses for video, though I do like the 85 for video, but I'm going to to pass that on to someone else as well. Uh, and finally, the 135 millimeter lens um, for video, it's great. I think it's great. Um, if you need a video in that focal length, you don't you don't need, as I probably said this before. I'm not into tax shop uh, footage because it just gets too much to um, like you get a strain in your eyes to look at it. Um, you need that to take it detached that to take a little bit of sharpness away, and then it's perfect to see or to, or to watch. Um, and I think the 135 can do that. And if I'm going out on a on a job where I need um, to to pack light to not take too much gear or not take something with a large volume, I might bring that one uh, for video work instead of bringing the 70 to 200. But having said that, the 70 to 200, hmm, yeah, it's a fantastic lens and it covers that focal length. So I don't know. Uh, in terms of still photography with the 135, I'm, it's okay-ish. Um, now I've been testing it thoroughly and um, I liked it before, but um, maybe I'm not, well, I don't know. It's a feeling. There's something missing. So, yeah. Uh, so I'm going to, to pass on on us as well. So in conclusion to all this, um, I'll keep the 28mm uh, uh, for sure. I, I love it. The 35mm uh, PC, I'm going to keep it and test some more on it. Uh, I'm going to see if I can learn to love the Helios, but my feeling is that I doubt it. Uh, the 55mm E is going to be sold. The 85mm F2 is going to be sold, though I, yeah, I love the handling of it, but yeah, 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 it needs to go. I can't keep stacking up uh, gear behind me here. Uh, and the uh, 135, I'm probably going to let that, that go as well. Um, maybe not as one of the first ones, but I'm, I think I'm going to sell that. So, yeah, so that's it. That's the list in conclusion. Uh, and I hope you uh, you enjoyed this uh, this video, as I've been uh, mentioning before. I don't do test charts, charts and, 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 and stuff like that. I test uh, from what I feel, what I like, when I see it. Uh, that's my uh, way to evaluate things and um, and you can see for yourself maybe you like the images uh, that's shown in the video um, uh, so you never know so feel free to uh, to comment uh, anything uh, down below uh, or ask any questions and uh, if you do that over there the subs I would be so thankful if you do that uh, that will help me tremendously so uh, yeah, the only one thing to say, stay safe out there, please stay safe, take care of each other, spread some, uh, some love, and, um, and have a nice weekend. Thanks. Bye.